Today we're gonna talk all about my iPad. I use my iPad every day from taking notes to video editing all the way to watching movies. The iPad can do it all and that is why I still prefer it over a MacBook. So let's talk about what's on my iPad. First, let's talk about the specs. I have the 11 inch iPad Pro in silver. It has 128GB of storage. Since I have an iMac, I use my iPad as my laptop that I can use remotely like at a cafe or just around my house. We'll get into the apps I use on my iPad, but first, let me share with you some useful iPad accessories that I love. iPad case is a must. Unless you don't mind any scratches or dents here and there, then you wouldn't need one. If you'll be writing or drawing a lot on your iPad, I recommend getting a paper-like screen protector. It imitates the feel of paper, so you can take neater notes and draw straighter lines with the comfort and the precision of paper in your digital workflow. Here I'm using the brand Paperlike, which I will link in the description box below as usual. Next, if you want to use your iPad as a second monitor or you just want to elevate your iPad setup, you can get this iPad magnetic stand. It's really helpful when I'm using my iPad to draw or take notes, but I feel like it's only convenient to use at home since the magnetic stand and the keyboard are pretty heavy to carry around. If you're planning to type a lot and use your iPad as a laptop like I do, I recommend getting a keyboard cover. This is a keyboard cover from Inatech, which is way more affordable than the Apple Magic Keyboard. It's compatible with many iPad models, and with the trackpad, it really feels like you're using an actual laptop. But the cool thing about this is that the keyboard and the cover are magnetically connected, so you can switch between different modes for work, study, watching movies, drawing, or reading. The stand is also adjustable, so you can adjust the angle to whatever is comfortable for you. The pen I'm using is the Apple Pencil 2nd generation. I've got a sleeve on to protect the Apple Pencil from scratches, and I'm also using a pen-like tip to make writing on iPad more enjoyable. Now let's get into my favorite apps. I love customizing my iPad with wallpapers, widgets, and icons. If you're looking for ways to make your iPhone and iPad aesthetic, I have many tutorials on my channel that you might be interested in. When it comes to widgets, these are my go-to. First. It's Widget Smith. Widget Smith lets you customize your home screen with different sizes of widgets. It has a bunch of designs for you to choose from. I mainly use it for Pinterest quotes and images, but it also makes nice calendar widgets for your home screen. If you want more pre-made widgets, Photo Widget is a great app for widgets like time and date, battery, and more. Widget is also another of my go-to widget apps. It has a huge selection of cool and aesthetic widgets. You can make your own widgets from scratch to importing other users' widgets all the way to editing existing widgets made by others. On my home screen, I also have this animated clock widget from MD Clock. It's free to download, but this particular widget requires a one-time fee. Next up, it's Smile To Do. It's a cute app to track your daily habits, but it only lets you add up to 5 habits in the free version. You can also choose the frequency and set reminders. When you complete a habit, you just tap on it and the colors on your widget will change too. Handy is also another great app to find cute and aesthetic widgets like this iPod widget I have here. Next up is Soso Notes. It's a mood tracker and journal app. It's a really cute app to track your mood and these are the stickers for you to choose. Reminders is one of my favorites and my most used apps. I use reminders for my to-do list, house course, things I need to buy or film, and more. But I also like to display these little reminders to myself on my home screen as a widget. Moving on to the apps, these are some of the apps I use daily. I love to keep as many apps that I use frequently on one page all the way to the home screen dock so I wouldn't need that many pages. But I obviously have more apps than this and they go into folders on the second page. Some of these apps I don't use very often and some are just apps that I already have on my first page as widgets which I can just tap on whenever I want to open the apps. I use digital planners on GoodNotes to plan my schedules, make to-do lists, and help me focus on my goals and priorities. I've also been using Notion to organize things like random ideas, places I want to go, things I want to manifest, projects I'm currently working on, 
and my travel plans. Next, I have Freeform. It's an app by Apple. It's like the notes app but more advanced in my opinion. Freeform lets you brainstorm your ideas on a flexible canvas. There's really no limit to what you can do with this. I totally recommend this app if you're a student or just anyone who prefers digital note taking. It's great for creating a mood board, collecting research for a school project, or gathering information for your next trip. Then I have the morning app. It's a journal to help you practice gratitude from the convenience of your phone. These are the daily questions you can fill in the morning and the other half you can fill in in the evening. If you're someone who tends to get lost on what to write on a journal, this app comes with prompts that can help you get started. I use Procreate to make my thumbnails or to sketch and draw on my iPad. Unfortunately, it requires a one-time fee, but I personally think it is worth the purchase if you're planning to draw digitally on your iPad. There are other free drawing app alternatives out there. Some of my favorites are Artset4. It has a pretty impressive set of painting and drawing tools for a free app. Like these brushes, I especially love the oil paint and the colors blend in beautifully. Next, I have coloring apps that I find very therapeutic. It's free to download but requires a subscription to unlock all artworks. I love that you can color in using brush strokes or you can fill an area with just one tap. Besides Procreate, I also sometimes use Fonto to add text on my thumbnails. Super simple to use and I love that you can import fonts that you downloaded onto your iPad. Next, it's Snapseed. I use this to edit photos. I especially love the healing tool. You can use this to remove blemishes, dirt on the table, or an unwanted object on your photo. Then I have CapCut. I usually edit my YouTube videos on my iMac, but for TikTok videos, I edit those on my iPad. I use coolers to browse and save color schemes for when I'm drawing. You can copy and paste the hex codes into creative apps like Procreate. If you ever want to practice your typing, you can check out Monkey Type. It's actually a website, but you can add it to your home screen by tapping on the share button over here on your Safari. Then tap add to home screen. You can always add a website to your home screen by doing these steps. It will then appear as an app on your home screen. So that's it. Those are my current favorite and most used apps on my iPad. Let me know what are your favorite apps at the moment in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!